Talk Radio! She's in the building. She goes by the name of Julia. Jules. The Jewel Bud. She's a three-time Bellator MMA champion? Yeah. So you just been fucking people up. Like, that's cool. Yeah, it's, you know? been, it's been a good few years. <laughs> you know? And you know what? The thing is, I, I met I met you, I, I want to, I mean, I was, it's almost like eight years. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. I was like. Yeah, it's like a long, eight to t- almost eight, eight to ten years. I think it was like, yeah, I think it was actually. 10 years yeah eight, eight years eight to ten years at the gym yeah right? at yeah. the at the it's gibson mma yeah exactly in port moody and uh you've been you've been <laughs> I've, wa- I've, I've watched jules when you weren't the champ yeah and she was like i was like i was like damn i mean and 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 lance who's your trainer mm-hmm. you guys are, are are married yeah my husband husband right yeah. so i was like that's kind of fucked up because she could fuck you up. Like, it doesn't, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? She gets mad enough. You might catch an elbow or, like, a kick to the shin or your, or your thigh. And, like, it'll hurt. No, he's still, he he's way tougher than I am. So I would never even try anything. But it, it could, <laughs> but in my brain, is like, you know, how do you date? I'm like, I, would I have a, if I ever had a chance, would, would I date a girl who did MMA? Probably not, because I'd be afraid. You can't even get loud. <laughs> You can't even tell it. Yo, calm your ass down. Relax. Calm your ass down. You, can, you, you can't even. You, you can't even see that, right? But, but I've. I, but watching the your work ethic, it doesn't surprise me that you are the champ three times and you have belts and other. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I love what I do, so it makes the work easy, and uh, I love it. It's my passion too, so I think that's why I've kind of stuck in the sport for as long as I have. Um, I mean, I love it so much that it's what I do. Everyone always asks, like, oh, what do you do when you're not training for a fight? I'm training. It's what I do. <laughs> but you're so nice. I always think you're so nice. So I'm always thinking, like, how do you, how do you get mad at someone that you want to fight? Like, is it, do, you, do you feel that you, that you feel the need to have to be like, I hate that person? Or you're just like, no, it's a fight, and I'm, I'm here to just beat your ass. Yeah. Now, now like, as long as I've been doing it, because I've been doing martial arts now for, like, 20 years, um, I think now I – no, I don't need to feel any sort of way. It actually helps when I get a little pissed off because then I, right. you know, <laughs> yeah, it helps me. But um, no, I, I never kind of, I focus on me, what I can do, um, what I need to do to win the fight and what I need to do to be at my very, very best. And that's what I focus on because you can waste so much energy being angry and pissed off that mm-hmm. that takes up all your energy and um, instead of just focusing on the job at hand. Yeah, d- uh, and you've also been a... a, a a huge role model for women in in the sport of MMA, and uh, how did, how did I, I mean obviously it must make you feel good, but w- is there a story about maybe like there was a girl who was down and and she saw you fight or maybe some of your words that has changed her life? Is there someone? Well, you know the. I think that there's probably lots of girls, especially if they watched the beginning of my career. It was a roller coaster ride. Oh, yeah. And uh, I won. I had these amazing performances followed by, like, it was win, lose, win, lose. And, um, like, my very first win was I TKO'd the girl. And then the, my next fight, I got KO'd in 14 seconds. And then my next fight, I I won. And, and then my next fight, I had my arm Broken, dislocated. Yeah. So if anybody that was watched cyborg? that. No, it was uh, Rhonda. Rhonda. Rousey. Oh, Rousey. Yeah. Right, right, right. And then from there, I've gone, I think I'm 10 wins in a row in MMA. And I think that for a lot of women, things that, well, for a lot of fighters and athletes, men and women, um, seeing me come back from those and not, yeah, not let it, you know, keep me down. I think that is inspiring um, no for doubt. all people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because uh, I, I mean, you, I can go back and I could look at, all the stuff on YouTube and when I say from being in the gym those few times and just watching you and being like because we were we were recording something and we we're trying to get some stuff together and trying to work on and um, I, you were like yeah but I, I gotta I'm just gonna go do this real quick guys, <laughs> for a second and then I'm gonna just go lift this big ass tire we got in the back in the alley and flip it like the, the tire <laughs> is is like taller than me I'm 6'2 it's probably about 3 feet higher than I am and she's flipping this tire in the back. Yeah, just for fun. I love it. I didn't even bother. I try. I try to act like I was gonna help out, move it, 
And I realized I was like, nah, I ain't even embarrassing myself. <laughs> I just I just made up an ICBC claim that I have that I can't be doing shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be seeing me doing this down the alley. <laughs> I think they're following me, cause so I can't, you know. Uh, we we close. We real close. <laughs> But I mean, mm-hmm. and that's, the, I guess that's a, a part of the key of like, it's constantly staying on it. Yeah. Constantly, like, it becomes yeah. routine. It's like Floyd, May- May- Floyd Mayweather. He just mm-hmm. kind of, that's what he does every day. Yep, exactly. And, and you defended your title how many times now? Uh, th- oh, I've defended it twice. I won it, and then I defended it twice. Yeah. Like, the belt looks so good. Yeah. Are you all right? Feels good. <laughs> Feels good. Do you have another yeah. fight coming up soon? No, I don't. My, no? Um, my contract's kind of up for. Um, yeah, I kind of, I, we're figuring things out. So after my last fight, um, I fought in July, and now I've just been training and getting um, the politics, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the politics. Yeah. See, so I like, I like, I like, I like how sometimes you have to dance around questions. Yeah, we working it out. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So speaking of politics, as a female in this industry, I'm wondering what are some of the challenges that you face that you've overcome? Um, in this industry, uh, it's. I've always kind of, like when I first started doing kickboxing and MMA, there wasn't a lot of people doing it, but I always looked up to role models that I saw in like the boxing world as female fighters, Lucia Riker, um, uh, these women that I saw doing what I lo- wanted to be doing. So I kind of didn't look at it as obstacles and I just kept doing it and it was just for fun in the beginning. And then now I, it's become a career and I kind of look back and going, oh wow, like, yeah, that's pretty cool. But um, I haven't had to face that many obstacles, I guess, because I just saw, I just kind of looked at my goals and didn't, yeah, didn't really, if that makes sense? I don't did, know. Did but it totally does. Yeah, it's kind of D- like didn't I didn't go focus left. on What about mindset? Yeah. It's yeah. like, yo, this is going to happen. I'm going to make it happen, yeah. period. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. And just keep doing it and and keep at it long enough and things start to happen. Cool. Yeah. Was there ever a point where you're like, yo, <laughs> This fight's coming up, and I I just don't know. And then you come out as the as the champ, and just because you stuck to your yeah. your vision. Yes. Do you get 100%. Do you get butterflies? Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> I get nervous. I get all sorts of feelings, but um, I do a lot on you know figuring out how to breathe properly and keep myself calm, centered, aware of my surroundings because it's easy to go like like super amped and then not really be aware of the little details that you yeah. gotta focus on so what right. is it that you do that brings you down to that like a lot of deep breathing okay yeah it sounds probably and um especially in those like there's so much happening so the crowd and the lights and everything stimulation so, everywhere yeah, exactly so just kind of focusing on one step ahead of the other breathing um what I got to look at, paying attention to my coaches and what they're saying, and then get in there and bell goes, and then... That's awesome. Yeah. For those of you who are just listening in to Hollywood North Radio, we are live with the three-time Bellator lightweight champion. Uh, featherweight. Featherweight <laughs> champion. She's lighter than a featherweight, but she still beats <laughs> your ass. And uh, featherweight champion, Julia, the jewel, but... Thank hey you guys. once again. I want to say thank you for coming for for, for doing this because yeah. we like you. Well, every time I'm like, hey, what about this date? You're like, I'm in Vegas. And I'll be look. I'm like, yeah, see you in Vegas. <laughs> like, because I'll be checking when motherfucker try to lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you try to lie. Didn't work. I catch you at the P and E, bro. I'm going to P and E. They'll quiet storm. You go to P and E. No, no, no. Just come with me, cuz I got, I got you. I got, no, I got extra tickets. I just need you to come with me. I need somebody to hold me back. Yeah. <laughs> Glad this date worked. Yeah, no, no, and it worked out actually perfect. Because the, la- the last few shows has just been crazy where you got to be like, all right, man, I got to get you in. Because if you want to be, I, you got to do it at the end of October. And people are like, end of October? Yeah, man, I'm leaving. I'm going to Paris. I'm going to Italy. I'm going to like London for a wedding. Like, I don't oh, know nice. what you're talking about. Are we both? So, yeah, awesome. yeah, so we got, like, it's, it's crazy. And I, I really appreciate everybody who's given us their time. And you're one of those people who always tried to make it work. Yes, so I just thank, you. Say thank, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I have another question. Mm-hmm. Is there something you do in training that nobody would ever know? And I'm trying to squeeze that ex- that exclusive information out of you right now. <laughs> um, um, probably the deep breathing, and uh, I do a lot of um, meditation work. So maybe people wouldn't know that. That um, at least once a week, I work with a like kind of I go this like it's called warrior breathing, and um, just bringing everything down, really focusing, visualizing um, whatever goal I have on hand. Yeah. That's so powerful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. For real? Yeah. It's I'm amazing for anything in life, I think, because 
because I think the difference for between you and I is my breathing is is based off of how how much how many patties are in the burger, <laughs> right? So, and they, and the Beyond Meat burger's been out for two months, so I, I it's um, changed just, my life. Just ask him about go, the Beyond Meat. Just ask him. Go, go, <laughs> going backwards. Is that A and W should pay me? They should pay me some money. I, I've had probably about 30, 40 people like convert over to the Beyond yeah, Meat you burger. Know what? My dad is a huge A and W fan. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I feel I like find the garbage all the time in his truck. Yeah, and I feel like they owe me money. <laughs> because and then how you gonna how you gonna have me advertise for you and get people to eat it and then you're sold out for two months exactly who, who missed that ball because i'm mad i want you to fire somebody for that so julia will tell us as as we count down from number five to number one what each songs mean to her on the soundtrack of her life so here it is we're gonna start right now what is the number five song on julia bud's soundtrack to her life tell us all about that is that the is that war is my love kendrick yep. lamar yeah. yeah, so um, Lance Gibson Jr., my husband's son, um, brought that song to me right after I, I was coming off of Loss from Rhonda. Mm -hmm. And I was going to my first fight with Invicta Fighting Championships. Right. And we were just running one day, and he, he played it for me. And I was like, okay, this is, this is going to be my next fight song. And it's been my last fight song for my last 10 fights. Wow. <laughs> and, and, you, and undefeated in the last, like, uh, Yes, ten. undefeated since... Uh, playing that song <laughs> Woo! thanks kendrick so this is the number five song on the soundtrack of julia bud's life this is kendrick lamar and tell him what is it called tell war em. is my love war <laughs> is my love right here on hollywood north radio where the celebrities come to play welcome back to hollywood north radio where the celebrities come to play we have julia bud doing the soundtrack of her life that was number five war is my love by kendrick lamar Yes. Yeah, that was that song is so dope. Yeah, it was getting me amped. Yeah, <laughs> just don't <laughs> swing my way. Punch Kaylani, she right there. <laughs> you can hit her. Shit. Wow. She she cool and all, but I rather she take the hit, not me. You know what I mean? I love her though. You know what I mean? Like, I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> she my people's. Don't you wait? When the bear comes to get us in the woods, I'm about to trip you and run. No, nah, okay? you know what? See, the problem is, is that th there's certain things I don't do. There's no bear getting me. <laughs> There's no bear getting me. There's just shit I just don't do. <laughs> Sleep, you want to go camping? For what? For what? Why we, why we, so bear can get you. No, no, no. Because I will be the one that will run straight and not zigzag. <laughs> screaming and crying. The only thing he, that might stop him from getting me is the fact that I'm screaming so loud, he probably like, nope, nah, this one, nah, we'll leave this one alone. <laughs> you know, He's too I, crazy. I don't even like chocolate. Aww. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> He's giving me a headache. All right, so let's talk about your number four song. On the soundtrack of your life? Uh, Erica Badu, Ooh. Next Lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, that was about me and my husband. And when, like, we were friends for a long time before we got romantic, I say. That's always um, the way it yeah. works. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we were both in other relationships, and uh, we kind of never thought it would really pan out this way, I guess. And that, yeah, I love that album, and I love Erica Badu. And that song reminds you of him. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Hey, Lance. <laughs> you hear this, Lance? <laughs> you hear this? Sorry, bro. I'm going to call you out on it. You hear this, Lance? Oh, it's so sweet. Love it. So here we go. Number four. <laughs> Welcome back to Hollywood Nero, <laughs> Hollywood North Radio. That's a double prong. You can put both of them in the same thing, oh, can't you? Okay, yeah. See, I knew I, 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 I made sure that I bought one because my ass is... There you go. I'm a man. We just slow. <laughs> we, just do, we just do things and... We always, that's why women always suck their teeth at us and take a deep breath. Like, really? If I leave you, you dead. Like, <sighs> <laughs> you know, but uh, we are back here live on Hollywood North Radio with the three-time Bellator featherweight champion, Julia, the Jewel Bud. And uh, yeah, she, she, she's, she's dope. You know what I mean? A lot of people you meet, they're assholes. And I hate to say that. <laughs> and um, it's, it's, it's what you see is what you get. And I like that. I really, really appreciate that, and I like that. Thank you. You know, and I feel cool, so I, I could tell people I know you. I told my son the other day. I was like, you know, Julia Jewel Bud. He's like, yeah, she's like uh, the champion for Bellator. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's my friend, and uh, she's gonna be on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no way. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You worked that day? I was, He's like, yeah, uh, too bad for you. <laughs> Don't worry, watch it on Instagram on your break. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> but thank you once again for coming um, on Hollywood North Radio. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. AKA Noah's Ark. We've we we've, we've officially um, labeled this Noah's Ark because oh. if they build it, they're gonna come. So there's a platform. So anytime you have a fight, anytime you want to promote anything, anything you're doing, please let us know. Come through. Just oh, bum rush the sure. show. 
For just sure. tell me you're coming, and then I'll be like, okay. Yeah, I'm showing <laughs> right. up on your show. Yeah, but no, be but like that standing out there waving. No, just come in. I tell people, yo, <laughs> if you got something you want, let like, come in the booth because you know what. We got shit to do here too, so you got to stop us and let us know what's going on. Okay, for sure. Right, right, Kay. Love it. See, always. See, see how she. If you can see Kaylani's face, she. she, she Look at her, this guy's shirt. I was just thinking about that, to be honest. Sorry, her, her, yeah, I so get easily distracted, looking, and if you can see you what's going on in mad front of distracted. us, there's a lot. There's a lot. Her, there's a lot. She, she made but a face that was like a filter. <laughs> <laughs> it was all cute and like you know like a filter and shit <laughs> busted yeah she did get busted um anyways so here we are number three right yeah okay let's Coming do up. this yeah it's a number three song <laughs> she's like what, already what is it uh you make me wanna by usher yes <laughs> <clears throat> and it was it this album came out like grade nine year mm -hmm. um and i think it was 14 and we, like uh, the rule in our house is no boyfriends till you're 16 Mm. So this album was just kind of, you know, all the oh. in high school. Shit, yeah. I, I, work, I worked for <laughs> BMG at that time. I was promoting that album. Were you? Hell yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that album still, still <laughs> so good. That's awesome. Yeah. So here we go. Number three on the soundtrack of Jules' life. Usher, <laughs> you make me wanna. <laughs> here on Hollywood North Radio, where <laughs> the celebrities <laughs> come to play. <laughs> oh, the mother is a champion. <laughs> <laughs> but right here on Hollywood North Radio, once again, thank you for coming through. And you can follow her um, on Instagram at the champion. No, at or, champion jewel. Well, there we go. At champion jewel. There we go. You know what? So you know what? There's a, there's a I think. Sometimes there's a point. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, like, that's uh, right. it's, it's champion jewel. All right. Okay. So for me, you know, October 18th is going to come a real big day for a lot of people. And I've been indulging way before. So I think, you know, sometimes it catches up to you. So October 18th, marijuana is legal. What? It's and I've been supporting it for a long time. <laughs> it, I thought it already was legal. No, they just stopped <laughs> bothering to even because that's paperwork <laughs> they don't want to deal okay. with. So I just say that a lot of black people ain't going to jail, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And you hopefully know, getting out of jail. Huh? Hopefully getting out of jail. Huh? Out of jail for yeah. It. That ain't going. They ain't going like they're, I mean, anyway, I shouldn't have picked one color. There's a lot of people. <laughs> So what are you doing October 18th? Um, I think I'm <laughs> off that day. <laughs> October oh 18th. Uh, we're, we're, oh, I'll just get back from um, from uh, Italy. So oh, nice. I might. I was gonna go to Paris, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna go. I think I gotta get back here. And uh, I think Katie wants to say hi to you. Is yeah, that your sister? My little sis. No, answer. Oh, you said answer it. <laughs> okay. Back to the lab. Red K button. Katie Bud. Katie. Yeah. Hi, Katie. You were just like live and we just kind of clowned you a little bit. So let's get into the number three. Is that number three number song? Two. Right? No, number no. two. Number two. Number two. Number sorry. two. All right. We, we're getting we're there. We're going to change Listen. it up. Change up the know, genre right? a little. Okay. Let's do it. We like <laughs> um, that though. We like we like variety here. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is Rod Stewart, Forever Young. Yes. And, and this uh, this was just the stage in my life. I was I was um, probably like seven years old uh, and I was building my our new, well I thought I was helping build our new house with right. my dad right. and just working with him and I was in charge of the radio so I got to rewind the tape and replay over and over and over again and this song was definitely my favorite okay so there you have it Rod <laughs> Stewart and, and so with forever, young. forever young right here on Hollywood North Radio where the celebrities come to play celebrity special guest this week is julia the jewel bud three-time pelletor champion you can follow her at champion jewel on instagram yeah baby that was number two on the soundtrack of her life forever young by rod stewart Jules, we're about to move on to number Jules, one you're fun you're like Thank you're you. a lot of fun Thank you. She's the shit. you know like seriously like so. no like it's, it's dope though <laughs> you know what i mean like you we get a lot of guests in here, and we've been so blessed to have a lot of people who are just like mad cool and and, and come in. But you're, you, there's an energy and a vibe about you, and I get, I understand now, like why you're the champ. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. No, you know sometimes we, you get around people and you're just like, okay, I get it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get to your number one song yeah. on the soundtrack of your life, yeah. and let's talk about that one. So it's Julia by the Beatles, and it was what inspired my parents to name me Julia. And then when I was old enough to play again, that CD, I think I got the white album or whatever, or my parents had it and I stole it and listened right. to that. Um, I don't know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I felt like the song was like literally written for me. So yeah, that was what um, 
they why they named me my name. Awesome. That's so now we have it. Yep. Julia There's by life. the Beatles. That's, there's my life. The I'm number one song Julian. on the soundtrack of Julia the Jewel Bud's Life right here on Hollywood North Radio. This song is Julia by the Beatles. Yeah. Right here on Hollywood North Radio <laughs> where the celebrities come, come to, to play. play. Julia, thank you very much for coming through. <laughs> and we'll say goodbye after this song here. It was a pleasure. Total pleasure. <laughs> come by. Come Option by and say hi. Yeah, come by and say hi. And um, they got all the pig you can eat up in this motherfucker. Bacon, sausage, more bacon and ham. They got all kinds of that stuff. That's a really on. good chicken soup.